Ohio State has its first Big Ten game of the season at home when they face Iowa today at 3.30 on CBS. I'm Steven. That's Andrew. That's Stefan. We won't be there. He'll be there, though. So we're going to start with him. It's game time decisions. It's the one thing you want to see from Ohio State and its matchup. Andrew, what would you like to see since you'll actually be in the building? I mean, I think this is pretty basic, but how are you going to defend the run? Iowa runs the ball very well. They always have a good offensive line. Their tight end, Luke Lachey, can block. He can also go out and catch the ball. You have Caleb Johnson as your running back. He's averaging over eight yards a carry right now. That's a running game that has been effective. I understand that they have also not really played a very tough schedule. I know they have one loss, but they haven't played a defense like Ohio State. There aren't many defenses like Ohio State, but that's a really good running game. Like, he's really, really good. So, Ohio State, how are you going to defend the run? That's what I'm curious about because Jim Knowles has talked about this. It feels like last week after the uh, after the Marshall game, when we talked to him, he was a little upset with the way that some of their defensive line played. You know, the guy's not playing in position, guy's getting out of position. He was like, hey, you know, I think he was talking about Caden McDonald's, but he was also talking about everybody else. You know, hey, you could leave your gap to make a play, and if you make that play, that's great. But the next time they go right by you, and that's your fault. So you can't do that against Iowa because if you do that, they will run the ball effectively, and that is how you get into a game where – it's the third quarter and it's 13 to 10 because time of possession has not been your friend. So how do you defend the run? This is going to be probably, depending on how you feel about Michigan, the best run offense that they might play in the regular season. How do you do it? And I want to see how this defensive line stands up to the challenge and how this front seven stands up to the challenge. Because again, there have been some issues in this regard in the last couple of games and and even going into last season. I want to see if they answer the bell. With that being said, but Ohio State is allowing less than two yards per carry. Well, but to your point, Iowa is 12th in the nation in yards per carry on offense, and so this is going to be the first legitimate run offense they're going to be facing. And so the, the numbers are kind of – you put them at face value until you play somebody of quality. My thing is something that Jim Knowles said on Tuesday that I thought was notable. Weird, but notable. He said he wants to see better tackling from his linebackers, but more specifically knockback tackling. Because that's the thing. You tackle a guy, but if the running back falls forward, well, he kind of won because he gained an extra yard or an inch or whatnot. Knockback tackling, especially when they're playing a guy like Caleb Johnson on Saturday, is going to be important. And what that essentially means is literally that. Can you tackle a guy and also take him backwards? Can you knock him back while you tackle him? And I think that's something I'm going to be on and I look for because it does seem like the tackling with these linebackers isn't as quality as it's been in some years past when you had Steel Chambers and you had Tommy Eichenberg. And some of that is just young guys. Again, Sonny Styles is on game four of ever being a linebacker in his life. C.J. Hicks is in his first year getting meaningful snaps. Arvo Reese was a defensive end at this point last season. And so there is going to be a learning curve that has to happen with those guys. And I think we all keep forgetting when we're talking about the linebackers. But that's a place I want to see some growth. And to your point, Andrew, I was going to run the ball, so there's going to be plenty of opportunities for these linebackers to make tackles. Stefan, what do you want to see? I'll go to the other side of the ball. I'm interested to see Chip Kelly and and this offense run the ball against Iowa's defense. Iowa's got one of the better rush defenses in the country, uh, and Ohio State's got one of the best rushing offenses in the country, right? Like these are two forces uh, meeting each other on the field, and this is kind of the first real test that we'll have, you know, for this rushing attack. And and Ryan Day has talked about it at times. You know, Chip is someone who really likes to establish a run because I think a lot of this offense's success is based on what the running game can do. It's been pretty easy with the exception of maybe, you know, a few possessions early in the Akron game to really establish a run, this is going to be a test, right? Like, what what do you do when you get halfway through the second quarter and you're really not having success running the ball? How does that change this offense? Can you find success running the ball when you're struggling early on? I think that's going to be a big test for this offense, and I'm curious to see how they respond, you know, to maybe some struggles early on. We all want to see them run the ball and stop the run. Chip Kelly wants to see Will Howard go 18 for 18. Because Jared Goff did it on a Sunday night football maybe, game. Maybe Jeremiah Smith goes one of one like I'm on Ross St. Brown. Maybe that should have been our challenges. I guess those are our game time decisions. Go 18 for 18. And Jeremiah Smith, throw a trick pass to your quarterback for a touchdown. He's Stefan. He's Andrew. I'm Steven. Get the text. 614-350-3315. And go listen to Buckeye Talk wherever you find podcasts. Ohio State, Iowa, first Big Ten game at home, great jerseys. See you there if you're Andrew.